you joining us online this Sunday. And as much as we'd love to see you in person, we hope you're going to enjoy these online lessons. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be learning about parables. Do you know what a parable is? No, no, no. It's not a pair of bowls. You see, a parable is a short story and the Bible is full of them. Jesus spoke in parables. He would tell stories to people to make them understand something that they might not have understood if he'd said it in a different way. Some people say a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. So let's take a look at the parable that we're going to listen to today on our Bible story. Stories of the Bible the parable of the two builders. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey gosh. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. He asked them, Why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm going to build here. Yeah, I'm going to build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the flood waters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right. Hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. So as you can see, today's Bible story is about sand, rock, and two builders. Jesus was telling this story to explain to people that we should obey him. He explained that when we hear his words and then do what they say, we are wise. Like the wise man who built his house on the rock. What do you think is a good example of hearing God's word and then doing it? Hmm, let's think. I know. Um, maybe you see somebody sitting alone during break time. Now, I know we're all supposed to be social distanced, but you might see somebody sitting completely on their own with no friends. So you might invite that person to come and join your circle and have lunch with you. So you are loving that person the way you would love yourself. Because the Bible tells us that we should love others the way we love ourselves. So instead of letting that person feel left out, we invite them in and love them. So you see, that's an example of doing something that we've heard or read in the Bible. Anyway, getting back to the story. Jesus says a wise man built his house on the rock. And when the rain came and the storms came and the streams overflowed and the wind was blowing, nothing happened to his house. It just stood firm. Why? Because it was built on something good, something solid. And we all know what happened to the guy who built his house on the sand. Well, when the rain came, it washed everything away. So you see, God gives us good choices and we just have to listen to what he says and then do it because we will then see that everything works out. 
God wants what's best for us. He wants us to listen to what he says in the Bible and then obey. So would you rather be foolish or wise? Well, if you build your life on obeying God, it's like building your house on a rock. We will be strong when situations in life come and try and knock us off our feet. So, think about it. Wise, listen to God and do what he says. Let's pray. Father God, we want to thank you that you come and tell us these stories in a way that we can understand. Sometimes the Bible seems difficult to read and understand and you knew that and you came and and gave us these amazing stories so that we could understand in, in today's time how to obey your word and do what you say in the Bible. And Lord, right now it does feel like there's a storm that is that is um, rushing around us and that we don't really know if we're standing or falling. But we know, Lord, that if we build our lives on your word, that we will be standing strong because we have built our lives on the foundation that you have given us, and that is Jesus. Thank you for for teaching us, thank you for loving us, and thank you for being with us during this storm at the moment, Lord. We're not always sure where we're going and what we're doing, but we do know that our lives are built on the rock. So thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you would like, we're going to put some craft activities on our website for your moms or dads or nannies or whoever to to get off the website for you to do at home if you want but otherwise hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next sunday bye